Professor's band is one starting prep sequence and cleared for takeoff. Full engine start. Transmitting yet? Not yet. Rogers, Orin, how's the perimeter? It's clear. Commander one receiving signal approaching target sector. Transmitting the base now, sir. The place is secure. Good. Now we keep it that way. Take the left flank, Harks. Sir. Talk to me. We got the bogey on the run, sir. Which way? Rogers, which way? Which way, Rogers? You cannot identify, sir. Is he jamming our frequency? Looks like it, sir. You're supposed to be jamming his. This is Bandit 1. Homing in on target vicinity. High top. High top! I want you to hold this position. Nobody gets in. You got that? Got it, sir.
Thank you for organizing this at such short notice, everyone. As I'm sure you can appreciate, we've had a serious situation come up over the last 12 hours in southern Russia, which requires our immediate attention. General Igor Zazen, an iron fist from the Brezhnev days, Afghanistan, the southern states. Over the last few years, he resurfaced in Chechnya, he made good use of the rebels there, considering he's a Russian. He put together a new army, new weapons, and now it seems quite possibly a nuke. Yesterday, he led a band of his rebels across the Terek River and captured the Kamshev nuclear plant. Now, three of the four reactors at Kamshev have been decommissioned. The fuel rods have been removed from the fourth reactor, but it is capable of going online if it is recorded. <laughs> would appear to be a Russian problem, Mr. Tensor. Please, General, let us make no mistake, gentlemen. Igor Zazen is a very dangerous man. We have been tracking him for a number of years. His hatred for the Kremlin has become a complete obsession. <laughs> This. What are they doing with them? They're prisoners. They surrendered when we moved into the plant. Where are you taking them? Exactly my point. If 
he is capable of recoring this reactor, he is capable of detonating it. That is to say, potentially 100,000 deaths in an instant. And a few hundred thousand more when the winds send the fallout over an area the size of Texas. We have proof he's capable of all this. Amanda, pull up the flint off picture. This surveillance photograph was taken in North Korea. The Asian is Jong Lee Kim. He's the ace of hearts in our deck of most wanted arms dealers. The man with him is Andre Flintoff, Zazen's second in command. Now, it seems that Flintoff has plutonium on his shopping list. What has Uncle Kim got for sale? Fuel rods from a failed North Korean reactor. We have to destroy the camshaft plant before Zazen records it. in it. The Americans will have their intelligence and they lack it. You'll see. We are not in the business of doing Russia's dirty work. It's not just the Russians. There are seven scientists from the private sector working at Kamchev, four of whom are Americans. How the hell did they get there? The Russians hired them to help decommission the plant. Are they still alive? We're not sure. One of them, Arthur Moffat, has stayed in contact with Moscow by cell phone. Latest reports suggest he's managed to stay hidden from Zazen's troops. So let me get the bottom line here. We've got a nuclear reactor to take out, hostages to rescue, and it's all on us. Unfortunately, the Russians have lost control on this one. As you know, Mr. Secretary, they are not averse to our support in this. What do you propose? An airstrike. We level the place. The hostages are- Four or five lives against 100,000. I can accept that. General, we're not able to do large-scale bombing here. How come? The area is too contaminated. Unless we do a precise airstrike, we risk sending huge clouds of radioactive dust into the nearby town. Well, from what I know, these reactors aren't easy to take out. We need to target its weak spot. What we need is a painter. Send in a painter with a ranger team. I agree. They could secure the hostages and choose a precise target. It could get real difficult over there. I have to persuade the president that this plan can work. Do we have any guys with real combat experience? Yeah, we need someone who's been through this before. This man can do it. I just can't see how you don't look at it any other way. We had our asses kicked. Oh, fuck that. One man don't make a team. Nah, he ain't nothing without his high tech shit. Yeah, Ma, well, I'd like to see you say that to his face. Oh, fuck you. I say what I want to who I want. Even Cap? Yeah. See, we're a team. We don't hold our piss, even for Cap. Well, all I know is he beat every one of us. That's gotta count for something. What's up, Captain? We gotta go. We got two suits from DC flying in to give us our mission. Well, tonight? Yeah. Let's go.
you got a mission. They're asking for you. just came in from our agent in Dagestan. And Shan Imports, one of John Lee Kim's companies. The shipment's from Nampo, North Korea. Uh -huh. Do we know what it is? Certainly big enough for fuel rods. to keep an eye on its movement and to stop it once the situation's stabilized. You better have one of our guys keep an eye on it, too. It's imperative we take out that last reactor before this container gets there. It's amazing. Even old Victor Ivanov's given us his blessing. Come in. Excuse me, Mr. Ivanov. Yes, Veslan. The Prime Minister is ready for us. Okay. Commander, Jonathan, good to see you. You too, Major. This is Captain Nash. He leads the Ranger team we're sending in. Good to meet you, Captain. I know you've been fully briefed, Captain. Just so you know what you're up against, I thought you'd better hear this. You never know, it might prove critical. Can you run that for us, Major? Sure. Sergeant. of Arthur Moffat, the lead scientist on the decommissioning team. How do you know if he's still alive? We don't. The rebels haven't even acknowledged that they've taken hostages. The fact is, <laughs> we haven't even made contact. And you think they're gonna record this reactor? So far, everything points in that direction. Good luck, Captain. Jim. primary target, the hostages or the reactor. Both. If there's a choice, which one takes priority? What are my orders, ma'am? The reactor. Is 
that it? You want to say anything more to me? Briefing's over. Damn it, you can talk to me. I'm still here for you. If you want a psych evaluation, you can read the file. You wrote it. It's still there. The same look in your eyes. What well, look would that be? The one you saw in the inquiry? That's not fair. What do you want from me, Amanda? Thank you. Okay, thank you. You cleared my record. It means absolutely nothing to those people buried in the ground. It wasn't your fault. I took the order. I lit the target. That mission was over years ago. Those deaths are in the past. Leave them behind. It's a good idea. Prime Minister, hello. Have you heard from the Americans? They want a rescue and a preemptive airstrike. They say it is in our best interests. Of course they would. Their newfound obsession has been exhilarating for them. They are asking for us to counter with a ground attack. We can't make that promise. The lie. Let them believe they're in charge. The blame rests on their shoulders. Has Cezanne found... Uh, what he's looking for? It's on his way to him as we speak. We must let the Americans take hold of Yeto. I'll tell the President. That reactor's got reinforced concrete. You sure there's a good spot to take it out? I'll find one. The spec shows a narrow target area for it to implode. It's all about minimal damage on this op. We go in, locate the hostages, paint the target, and then get out before anyone knows we're there. Any questions? Yeah. Well, how close on our ass is the airstrike? They'll be right on our ass. That's why we gotta make it quick. Yeah, well, how hot is it around the reactor site? A small company of Zaysan's royalists are protecting his ass there. The rest of the rebel troops are across the river, 20 miles south. Uh, Captain? This being a, a stealth op and all, we gotta leave Arm behind. You can see his fat ass a mile away. <laughs> Go blow yourself, asshole. <laughs> Quit it. Let's pack and roll, people. Jack's here. What is happening now? We're moving forward. The team's on its way. We have a man shadowing the container. Our forces are ready to intercept it. Have them hold off until the plant is secured. Or those hostages are as good as dead. Parts. Man, I did some checking on him. Total malfunction in Bosnia. And he painted the wrong target. We're talking major collateral damage. Name, dude. If it comes to having to save your ass, I want to know your name. You worry about saving your ass, I worry about saving mine. All right, people, let's roll.
signal. Must be on a real ride. Those are 70 mile an hour wind gusts. Is there a problem, Major? I hope not. Open and off the target. Well, there's nothing more we can do to help them now. They're on the run up there. Sir, their comm says it down. Well, it would do east of us, so let's pack and go. Mr. Secretary. Morning, John. We have a green light, sir. The team is on the ground. When will the target be lit? Two hours at most. One of our satellites will pick up the painter's signal. We have an F-14 standing by off a carrier in the Gulf. They're waiting for a go-ahead. And the Russians have coordinated a offensive move to coincide with the strike. Keep me informed and keep everything on track. Yes, sir. We certainly will. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Jack Stevens, skipper of the Oakland. Lieutenant Reynolds, sir. Lieutenant Carter, sir. Colonel Reynolds gave me some details about your mission, gentlemen. In fact, too few. I was impressed with your flight record, Lieutenant, particularly on the F-14 Tomcat, and I do see that your carrier qualified. But what I don't see is why a Navy pilot can't fly this mission. The way we see this little get to, it's an Army problem. So they all got to be the one to clean it up. Not good enough, Lieutenant. The dispatch from Colonel Reynolds, explains the parameters of this operation, the need for secrecy. And I don't give a damn about dispatch, Lieutenant. If I'm gonna entrust one of my airplanes to an Army pilot and let him fly in harm's way, then by God, I wanna know why. Yes, sir. I know the terrain. I know the ground crew. And you couldn't let a naval aviator fly this operation. But the Army needs me. Fair enough, Lieutenant. Roger that, sir.
Spencer's less than a mile away. Says he was hiding in the hospital. It's here. Got it going against you, sir. Great. The Hark set's dead. Clear up here. Nerve shaking? Yeah, a little. Good. Means your instincts are turned on. Seven of us working here when the soldiers came. I think they were in the breeder reactor. Where were you? I was working in the cooling tower with her. How'd you get there? There's underground pipeways that connect to the reactors. When we got here, the soldiers were wrecking the medical center, and we hid. Who's the woman in the morgue? What woman? The one with the hole in the head. We don't know. How do we get through those pipes? Through the morgue.
know her? She worked with us. Come on. upstairs. Nothing here but a stinking woman. Let's go see Flintoff. This is it. This is the entrance to reactor number three. Yes. You sure? Absolutely. He's right, Captain. These are Americans. I don't like it either, but we gotta make evac. And that's five clicks away. We got no time to be carrying bodies. Leave the dead. Let's move out. You know the right target? Do you? Just do your thing, Painter. Move out, Harks.
target is lit. The countdown starts now, gentlemen. We have a go for extraction. Repeat, we have a go for extraction. Rep the chopper on pad five. Contact Wingate Field, report status to Colonel Reynolds. further. Marking time on 03-4500 hours. Evacs at 0500 hours. Painter, don't be late. Jack's here. Good morning. How are you? Fine. And you, Miguel? Waiting for news. What is happening? Less than an hour to evac. But no word. Oh, they're still under radio silence. Look, there's another call I have to take. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, okay? Okay. Commander, you better get in here. The target's set and the chopper's inbound. This is it. Painter, this is Nash. Painter, this is Nash. Do you copy? Roger that, Nash. I'm gonna click to your rear and close it fast. Everything's cool. Let's break some fucking radio silence. Raptor, this is Big Bad Wolf. Do you read? This is Raptor. What's your situation? Tickets assembled and one is on his way. What's his ETA? 15 minutes at most. Copy that. What about the prize? Two on board, five fatalities for extraction. Final approach, Wolf. Copy that, Raptor. Over now.
music. We are grateful to you, Mr. Moffat. Let's keep them alive. For now. Go ahead. Still tracking fuel rods. Truck is one hour away from destination. You're not gonna like this, Sergeant. This is what's left of the chopper's operation recorder. This is Raptor Wolf. Watch your situation. Ticket assembled and one is on its way. Watch his ETA. 15 minutes at most. Copy that. What about the prize? Two on board, five fatalities, pre extraction. Final approach, Wolf. You had a minute and 51 seconds passed before Nash and the others were loaded on board. to re-report. The evac was compromised. Rescue aircraft destroyed. Personnel? Presume dead. Proceed with the airstrike. F-14 strike force is on deck, sir. Weapons are locked and loaded and ready to fly. All right, let's get 207, 209 into the air, gentlemen. Just watch them and make sure they got out as planned. One they left behind may have figured out those plans. Where is he now? We don't know. And if he gets to the Russians, we're screwed. He won't. But your men have spent half a day looking for him already. Calm down, Mr. Muffet. He won't get to the Russians. What about these Americans? Did they make contact? No. Valentina made sure of that. We've blocked the frequency in the area. I doubt that he'll be able to make any radio contact anymore. 
put him in with the others. Move! I set you up. I, I put everything in its place just the way you wanted it. We appreciate your sacrifices, Mr. Ma. <laughs> you want to wipe out your church and army? Fine, but I, I'm not supposed to be here when the place is taken out. I'm touched by your deep sense of self-interest. <laughs> you promised me the money and safe passage. You're absolutely right. Safe passage. Speed Army. friend in Moscow will tell us if the American makes contact. Put guards at the place he targeted. Take everything apart, brick by brick. What makes you think he will come here and not contact the government? He's American. He's probably watching us now, planning his next move. Talk this thing through. All right, listen to me. Just you and me. Nobody else. You understand? You're the only one I trust. Something's off about this mission. I don't know who's pulling the strings up there, but I think we're being set up. Did you set the target? Yeah, but I'm gonna set a secondary. Amanda. Give me that. Amanda. What the hell is going on? Didn't you? What happened on the evac? Put, put Amanda back on. Soldier, talk to me. Talk to me.
just, I don't get it. We were on the chopper and we were clear to go. Why would they wait until then to try and waste us? It was all too easy. We just waltzed on in there like we owned the place. Yeah, no shit. And these fuckers played us. I mean, what the fuck is going on here, Captain? Let's just concentrate on trying to get ourselves out of here. Yeah, right. Take a look around. I don't think so. He said something wasn't right. Did he give you any proof? No. I'll have to call off the fighter, at least until we figure out what's going on. It's not happening, Amanda. You heard what he said. I don't think you're an accurate judge in this situation here, not considering your past relationship with him. What's that got to do with it? You're too close to him. Anyone reasonable would see that there is absolutely no substance to what he's saying. Look, when the evac chopper went down, he probably got spooked. You and I both know in those kinds of situations, people's nerves get tested. Nerves. That is all it is, Amanda. Does this have anything to do with your telephone call to the painter? You know about that? Your intelligence is our intelligence today, remember? But I do believe something is strange, as you said. Minister Ivanov is beside himself over this matter. In what way? After your helicopter was destroyed, I told him there may be a delay in the operation. I said it would be a good thing. Give us time to intercept the container and justify the extreme measure of an American airstrike on Russian soil. But he looked at me as, as if I spit in his face. What are you trying to say, Mikhail? Look again at the satellite pictures I sent you of the reactors. I'm going to send someone to intercept those planes. Okay. Russians are setting up to stop the truck. Secondary time, just in case. Hey there. Just got your email. What is this? A new plant in Chechnya is from a Russian satellite. Shitty quality. What do you see? Am I looking for something in particular? I don't know. Photoshopping. Where? 
Show me. Miss Shadow? Whatever's casting it's been erased. Can you check and see if this was covered by one of our satellites? Sure. Let me see what we have. From the date the Russians shot this, the computer will overlay the two and identify any discrepancies. Already been there. We're following a decoy. Get me hard copies. You're violating Russian airspace. Stand down. We have clearance from the Russian government. That's not what we were told. He's trying to lock on. These guys are going hot. Let's see if he can catch me now. I know a few chicks, we'll lose them. Radiation suits are in the car.
go. Give me Jonathan Tenzer. The painter was on to something. So was Beslan. And now he's been reassigned. All right. Convince me. The painter said he thought it was a setup. Amanda, that can mean anything. What if Ivanov planned this whole thing? What if he set us up to go in like cowboys, thinking we were taking out a reactor before Zazen could recore it, only it's already been recorded. That's what they're unloading off this truck. What could Ivanov possibly gain from something so insane? He's a hardliner. He's fallen in step with New Russia, but he doesn't like it. We know that. Imagine what would happen if we hit a live reactor. It'd be hundreds of thousands dead. And think about where the blame would fall, the country that caused it and the country that allowed it to happen. And political control of Russia be up for grabs. Something has been bothering me from the start. Usually you have to drag everything out of the Russians, but this time they handed it to us on a plate, and every bit of it was through Viktor Ivanov. I'll give you this. It's crazy enough to be possible, except for one small detail. What's that? The Russians stopped the container an hour ago. From the outside, it tested positive for radioactive levels. The specialists are in the process of opening it now. Don't look so devastated. I think your assumptions are reasonable. You're doing a terrific job, Amanda. Everybody's very impressed. This is it. They're being kept inside. Right there. The fighter's about to enter Russian airspace. How long till we hit the target? 13 minutes. Still on approach. ETA from target zone 12 minutes. Get away! Don't touch it! That could be static on your hand. It could sort out the target. Everyone will understand your sacrifice, Andre. I'll make certain of it. Soon, this pathetic Chechnya will be a forgotten wasteland. And how about Russia?
guards are dead. The Americans have escaped. Stand. Don't worry. I will make sure that nobody comes here. Stay clear of the village hall, okay? What are you talking about? That's where I met the secondary target. Who the hell told you to light a secondary target? This mission is off. Primary target wasn't set up. What the fuck are we standing around here for? Our orders were for Our us orders to... were to target a dormant reactor. This one has a live core in it. What? They used the hostages to record a third reactor before we got here. Dead hostages had edema in their eyes. The fuck is edema? First signs of radiation sickness. I hadn't figured it all out until I saw that we were being shadowed on the way back to the back. I don't know, man. Moffat did lead us through like we own the place. Look, we play right into Zace's fucked up plan. Now I gotta deactivate that primary core. No, man. We ain't changing the op because you got a hunch. I guess you're gonna have to shoot me, huh? Gotta do what's right. I'm out of here, Captain. Rogers! Sir. I think he's right. Go! Target is in that dome right there. How are you going to deactivate it? Electrical charge shuts it down. This will get step ready to the secondary target. Well, we're not getting through that. How much C4 did you pick up? Firing now. Six minutes, sir. Very good. Hold his position. 
Caught up top. How much time now? Less than two minutes. Are you talking? What is it? Someone irradiated dead beasts. It's the container. We gotta call off the fighter. Do it. Miss Alway. Too late. The missile's on its way. Oh my god. Secondary is hot. What's secondary target?
look like shit, too. That was the Kremlin. Victor Ivanov is dead. They're saying it's suicide. It looks like he's been set up to take the fall. If the missile hadn't diverted, the Kremlin would be in chaos. God knows how deep this really goes. for Washington in the morning. They'll call you in for your account pretty soon. Just like old times. Not quite the same. This time you'll have to say you went against orders. Listen to my instincts. So did you. They'll investigate my part, I'm sure. But when they do, a piece of advice from my experience. Don't get too close to the person asking the questions. Is that so? Yeah. Because when you do, then they're going to have to answer to me. It's not for eight hours. That's a long time. 